All right, boys and girls, so here's our video for social studies, week four, day one. Um, please make sure you're up on top with social studies, make sure you're on class pages, and uh, make sure you click right over here, your social studies grade three through five main page, and uh, make sure you click on week four. Okay, and if you see on my computer, I have the grade three week four lessons. Now, if you click on that, it's going to bring you to your um, your uh, assignments for this week. Now, you're going to notice something different. Up here, you're going to see a link. Before I tell you what that link is for, you're going to see why I added this link. Now, for some reason, where it says week four, the story that you're going to be reading does not work. Look what happens when I click on it. Give it a couple seconds. Uh-oh, there was an error. For some reason, the story is not working. So Miss Almeida had to be a detective, and Miss Almeida had to figure out where on earth the story is. So I found it. So that's why I attached the link up here. And now what's really cool about this story this link right here is when you click on it, it's going to bring you to Scholastic, which is where the story's from. And the cool thing about it, it's got some really cool like drawings on it. You could draw on it. So if you want to highlight anything or interest in when you go to answer your questions. And my favorite thing of all is read aloud. Now, I'm not going to read aloud the story to you today because you have the button that will read for you. So watch when I click it. Legends of the Wild West. Nate Love and other African-American cowboys played a big role in our nation's history. Inside this issue, Gavin is almost eight, but it will only be his second birthday. Okay, so once you do that, there's an arrow, and you would scroll to the actual reading. Now, again, like I said, if US you history. <laughs> let me stop it real quick. If you do not want to read it, have it read it for you. And like I said, if you find the answer to a question, or if you find that something's really important, you can click the highlight button, choose your color. And then um, you can highlight it on your screen so you don't forget it. It's very, very cool. See how I highlight it there? So I, maybe I think this is important. I could highlight it. So um, I think this was, it's, I think this is even better than the original copy that they gave you. So once you read that, you go back to PowerSchool. Again, this is the one that works. Don't do this one. And when you click on days one through five, as always, it's going to bring up our all the days. So this is always a good this, this is always a very good um, document because it has all our assignments for the week. I highlighted day one for you, but if you really want to get this done right away, I have no problem with you doing all five days today to get it out of the way and you don't have to worry about it. It's up to you. Because day one is really easy. You're only answering those three big questions that we've been dealing with every week. So once you have the story read, or once you have them read it to you, then you're going to tell me what surprised you in the story. Please, boys and girls, we're third graders. Please write like a third grader. What surprised me in the story was that blah, 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 blah. And tell me because. Because. Why did that surprise you? All right. I want to know because. Then it says, what did the author think you already knew? What do you think the author would probably think you already know about cowboys? I know, I know that cowboys always wear a cowboy hat. That's something I already knew. What's something that you think the author would already know, that you already know, that they wear boots, that they ride on horses, all right? You can write about that. So I think the author 
things I already know that cowboys and tell me what cowboys stuff you already know about cowboys. And then it says what change, challenge, or confirm, com um, what change, challenge, or confirm what you already knew. That doesn't make sense. What change, challenge, or confirm what it should be this. Let's edit this. I don't know who makes these things. My goodness. What change or challenge confirm what you already knew? So that pretty much means um, what challenge, which difficulty did they have, or what change did they have that already confirmed what you already knew, which means confirm means which gives you evidence that whatever you already knew so tell me what change or challenge already helped you out with what you already knew, okay? And like I said, keep this open for you so you can go back and forth to it. And as I said, feel free to do all the other days because the faster you get this done, the faster you have more free time for video games or video chat and your friends and stuff like that. Get your work done. If you want real quick, I'll tell you for day two, you're writing a summary. You're not answering these questions. You're writing a summary right here. What is the big idea the author wants you to understand? Okay, you can't, this is not just the only question. It's asking you to write a summary. So what does a summary mean? Write seven or more sentences, okay? That include details that tell you some main ideas, all that stuff, okay? Boys and girls, a summary. We know how to write a summary. We've done it before. All right. Then if you want to do day three, it's just simple. Three, three questions, just three questions. So go ahead and do that if you want. And then day four is write about it. If you had been alive during the 1800s, would you want to be a cowboy? Why or why not? Now, tell me, if you were alive back then, would you want to be a cowboy? Yes or no? Don't just write yes. Don't just write no. Tell me why. If you really wanted to be a cowboy, tell me why. What kind of things would you have done if you were a cowboy? If you didn't want to be a cowboy, why? What kind of things make you never want to be a cowboy? So that I'm going to write, write, four sentences or more because we are third graders okay and remember I could send it back to you if I see it's not done correctly all right so as always please keep in mind you could do this all in one day I also told my students that if you feel like on Monday doing language arts because there's only two assignments for language arts you might want to do two language arts assignments today all your language arts assignments, which are two. And then you could do all of your social studies today. And then on Monday, do all of your math. And then on Wednesday, do all of your science. And then on Thursday and Friday, or Thursday, you could do all your specials. And then Friday, you have a day off like Bruna did. So keep that in mind.